Hello, hello. Welcome in, guys. Happy Halloween, wherever you guys are. If you're celebrating today, happy Halloween. Now, I know it's Halloween and we're doing Christmas here. We've already moved on. I went shopping this morning for my Christmas tree. Don't judge me. Anybody else? I know there's a lot of you that are already starting to set up that Christmas tree today or you already have. <laughs> so anyways, I've got all these super cute ghosts that I have made using my Cricut and some plastic. We actually showed over on Instagram, so make sure you guys definitely check that out today. So I've got some, we've got some Halloween slash Christmas going on. So as you guys join us, make sure you guys tell us where you're crafting from. What are you guys working on? Any big, um, any big plans for this evening for Halloween? Are you guys taking the kiddos out? Any Halloween parties? We want to know all of the details down below. When I go home, I love to read all of your stories. So definitely please make sure you guys Share those traditions and let me know what you're dressing up as if you're going to be dressing up. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so today we are going to be making five paper craft Christmas projects. So I've got five good ones for you guys. They're going to be perfect for gifting. You guys are going to love these. These are included in this bundle that we are showing you guys today, which is the fantastic paper craft bundle. And I'm going to show you all that in just a second. So hello, hello, as you guys are coming in, a Christmas tree Halloween. That is right. All right, so for today, we've got something really, really good. All right, so we've got some giveaways going on, so make sure you all stick all the way to the end here. You don't want to miss a thing. So let's go ahead and start off with our very first one. We're going to give away 15 plus credits. You do not have to be a plus member to uh, use your credits. Those will be added to your account as soon as you reach out. So to enter, all you have to do is use hashtag ghost in the comments below. See, I told you we're going to do Halloween. We got Halloween slash Christmas going on here. <laughs> use hashtag ghost in the comments below. Make sure you guys use those emojis as well, but make sure you're using hashtag ghost. See those fun emojis as well. So do that for a chance to win 15 plus credits. All right. So I say hello from South Africa. Welcome in here. We are starting an hour later. So hopefully some of you guys were able to join us that usually can't. So hello, hello, hello. All right, so let's go ahead and jump over to our bundle. I'm going to show you guys what's included in this one. You guys are going to love it. You know, when I started out with my Cricut years ago, that's where I started was the paper craft in business. I started out as a scrapbooker and now I make t-shirts. So I love, love, love getting back to the paper crafts because there's so much you can do with paper. I think we all kind of forget that or maybe some of you only mess with paper. So we've got a really amazing paper craft bundle that is 19 bucks and listen, okay, Hold the phone. This thing is worth over $430. Almost $500 worth of value, y'all, for $19. $19. You don't want to miss this one. Now, make sure that you guys know that this is limited. We do not bring these back. So once this sale is over, um, we will not bring this. This will be expired, and you will have to pay full price if y'all want anything out of here. So this is very time sensitive. So I want to be um, sure that you guys know that. Another question I want to ask answer right away is, can you purchase this if you're not a Plus member? And yes, you don't have to be a Plus member to get it at this value. If you are a Plus member, you're going to save an additional 10 to 15% off as well. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this bundle here. So you guys have our paper flowers. There's a mixture between Christmas stuff as well as just everyday stuff. So don't feel like 
This is just loaded with Christmas if that's not what you're looking for. But if you're also looking for Christmas, you got some stuff. So we have some really cool 3D projects. We've got some bookmarks here. I almost made these today, but then we decided to go all Christmas. We have this really pretty um, Christmas card bundle right here. And I'm actually making this pine cone card here. And I'll show you all here in a minute, but I think it is so, so cool how this file works because the leaves pop out on the card. It's kind of this 3D effect. It is amazing. And that's just one of the cards that's included inside of that bundle. This includes the 3D letters. So if y'all have been wanting to make those 3D letters that you guys can add flowers on, you can do the pattern papers and write out boo. You could write out Santa or whatever, or the kiddos names do their first initial. It includes the 3D letters. So that is amazing in itself. Lots and lots of birthday cards. This one right here is really cute. This 3D shadow box for a koi pond. So if you guys are interested or you guys are a fan of those kind of things, this would be really cool. Make a really great gift. Um, there is butterflies in here. So those are really popular and trendy as well. These are really cool and you can do a really cool 3D effect here. Um, scrolling through, we've got some money cards here. Great for birthdays, more Christmas stuff. I love these ones here. So gorgeous. Now, when you guys cut intricate designs like this, I highly recommend that you guys use the intricate cut settings. I'll show y'all here in just a minute with the Cricut. We're going to make some of these little money guys here that's going to hold some cash. We're going to do a couple different gnomes there, but there's so many included in this one. We're going to be doing this gift card holder, which this is going to be the easiest craft that we're going to create today. You guys are going to love it. More 3D butterflies. We got some cute cards going on here. Lots and lots of goodies. I think there was right here. So we've got two more. This one's so cool. So you can not only create a card, but you guys can create a gift bag. So we're going to do the cute little llama today. I'm going to show you guys how to create that gift bag. Gift bag. <laughs> and then we're also going to make this um, this little 3D poncetta. Poncetta? Am I saying that right? Somebody let me know in the comments below. Poncetta? Poncetta? You know what I'm saying. So we're going to make this today. And I actually went with all the same red. Like they've got a few different colors here. I went with all red and I did a glitter center. So I switched it up today and I've got some glitter cardstock so we can really spruce it up with some of our cardstock graphs, if you will. So like I said, this guy is loaded. Y'all don't want to miss this one. I think this is one of our biggest um, values here. Like I said, almost 500 bucks for $19. Once again, it is time sensitive. And if you're a plus member, you're going to save that additional cash. All right. So let's go ahead and drop this down below. And I'm going to go ahead and get ready. Let's go ahead and go over what I'm making here. And then in the meantime, I'm going to stop my screen here so I can share my Cricut Cricut Design Space, because I want to show you guys, because Cricut is actually updated design space. I'm talking with my hands today. Um, they have updated Cricut Design Space. I want to show you a few of those features while we're here today. So we're going to go ahead and have that ready in the background. All right. So let's go ahead and go over what I'm making. Let me just drop a screen if I can. <laughs> there we go. I see you guys coming in. Hello, hello, hello. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my screen really quick just to kind of show you guys what we've got going on. We're going to be making this um, card holder. I told you it is the easiest craft we're going to make today. You're simply cutting it out. I'm fixing to show you all this in Cricut Design Space. I did a glitter cardstock. I'm hoping that's coming through good enough. I like to bring up my ISO on my things on my camera so you guys can see good enough. I see those hashtag ghosts coming in. So this is going to be our easiest craft. We've got that card. I told you guys is so cool because the way that that pops out, we're going to put that together in a second. We've got our money holders, um, our, our poncetta, and then we have our cute little gift uh, box bag here that's going to be perfect for putting in some little candies and things like that. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to bring us back up here. Let's go ahead and open up the Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to try to scoop my screen. I'm always trying to make sure I can see you guys. All right, I'm going to make this full screen so I won't be able to See what's going on. So hopefully everything stays good. So let's go ahead and start off with our very first project that we're going to be making today, which is the gift card holder. This is going to fit any gift card, whether you're going to Walmart, Target, wherever, it's going to be perfect. You guys can customize these and add more little um, elements if you want to. So this is going to come just like so. So you have two layers here. You guys can kind of notice a little bit of a difference going on here with Cricut Design Space. And one of the first things you're going to notice here where the layers, um, you can see 
that here now. See where it says ungroup. So if you need to ungroup those pieces, which I'll do that <laughs> right now, um, you can just see those colors is a little bit different. Instead of the gray, it's now like a mint green. So we have that going on here. So one of the things that you do have to do, Cricut has recently changed whenever you upload a file. This right here, this piece needs to be a score line, not a cut. So you want to go ahead and select that layer right there. Come up to the operations. It's super easy, super quick. You're going to go ahead and choose score. You're done. So all you need to do is select these two pieces together, and we want to make sure we hit attach so those stay together. So when we take it to the mat, it should look like this. So that way you see those pieces are in the same position. So it's that easy to work with this file. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So now let me go and show you another one. So let's go ahead and upload. We're going to bring in these two guys here because I want to talk about them. So these are really easy too. Now what I love about these money holders here, they're already sized out for you. You do not need to do any other work except for what I'm going to show you. These are sized out perfectly ready to go. Now what I did was I cut out the hats. Um, with glitter cardstock, just to spruce it up a little bit, which I'll show you all here in a bit. But what we need to do is ungroup these layers. So I'm going to go ahead and come up to our first one here. And then I'm going to hit that ungroup once again. Once again, you notice those colors change. We have like a lighter mint, darker mint going on. So it's just from that gray. I think it's more pleasing to the eye. I think it looks really great. So what we need to do is take this red layer right here. And then these pieces right here, which are going to be... Um, cut lines, but I want to make sure that they stay attached to the red. So I'm just going to go ahead and select those and hit attach. So now you guys see that. So hopefully you guys can see that good enough. I'll actually kind of bring it in a little more. So what you're wanting to see is that layer connected um, right there. Now, if that ever comes forward like that, all you need to do is go arrange, send to the back, and then arrange, and I'll actually bring forward. Maybe one more time, bring forward. You guys can always, oh, I think it's because it's way down there. Either way, you can bring it forward to where you can see it in between this layer. So you would do the exact same thing to this one. So you're going to do that exact same thing with that one. You're going to ungroup. You're going to select that red layer, and you're going to want to go ahead and attach those. So I wanted to go ahead and mention that, and that's it. After that, you're going to take those to um, your cutting mat, and you're going to cut those ones out. All right, so let me double check. I think the pine cone was absolutely perfect, and so was our box. I think those were completely fine. Now, I want to, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the new features just while we're in here. So you're going to notice, let's go ahead and just bring in a couple shapes here. Let's go ahead and bring in a heart, and we'll bring in a circle. All right, so one thing that you guys are going to notice now, and I'll actually, yeah, that's good. Let me bring this in just closer so you guys can hopefully see. All right, so what Cricut Design Space has done is down here at the bottom, so if we select both of these, you're going to notice you now have combined. It seems like our weld is gone and our weld is not gone. So now we have a drop down. Hopefully you guys can see this good enough, but you now have a drop down and you have lots of options. So you have weld, which is going to attach both of those. You have Unite. You have subtract, subtract, which will cut pieces out. You have intersect, exclude, and all of that. So I'll go ahead and show you. So if we weld as usual, it's going to take those two pieces together, and it's going to create and make them to one. There we go. So you guys can see that there. So I'm going to go ahead and back that back up and hit that undo button. Possibly there we go. I'm going to go ahead and select those again. We'll go back here and I'll go ahead and show you guys one more. So if I go to, let's go to intersect here. So it's going to keep that piece that is in the center there, which, you know, it's some of these things, it's like, I'm not too sure what we would do with them, but they definitely have started to give them to us and we'll take it. So let's go to subtract here. It's going to subtract a piece of that out of there. So it just gave us some new features there, and that's what's going on right there. So we have that. You're going to notice the difference with the layers there and then the colors here. So I just wanted to go ahead and point those out. All right, so let's go and drop this screen down, and let's put these things together. So these are going to be super-duper easy crafts. Once again, as you guys are coming in, make sure you're using hashtag ghost because if y'all are ready, if y'all are ready for that first giveaway, go ahead and drop those bats, drop those ghosts, drop those pumpkins in the comments below so I know that you guys are ready to go. I want to see all those fun emojis, and I'll go ahead and we'll draw our first winner. All right, so while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and just start getting everything kind of out of our way and ready to go. 
All right, let's see here. We're going to switch over to comments just to make sure I can see you guys bringing all of those in here. I think everybody is pretty much ready to go. I am so excited. All right, so let's go ahead and draw our very first one. So once again, this is going to be for our 15 plus credits. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit draw. Here we go. Good luck to everybody. Um, we are so excited that you guys are crafting here with us today. I know everybody's got big plans um, if you are celebrating for Helen. Congratulations, Simone. Am I saying that right? Simon Hera. Congratulations. Thank you so much for watching us here on YouTube. All you have to do is simply reach out to mel at designbundles.net. Let them know that you are the lucky winner of the 15 plus credits and they'll add those to your account as soon as possible. So you'll be able to pick out from our plus credits. Now, if you're already a plus member, it's just going to tack on and add to what you already have. All right. So here we go. So if you guys are ready now for the next prize, when I announce it, I'm going to tell you how important this next prize is going to be. It's going to be mind blowing because you're going to need it for our next ultimate dollar event. All right. So if y'all are ready for the next one, I want to see, um, let's see. I just want to see blow it up with Santa. So let's switch it up a little bit. I want to see all the Santa Clauses down below. If you guys are ready for this next one and we'll announce that one. So I'm going to go and drop us down below while you guys are doing that. You are the best crystal. Thank you so much, Green. All right, so for this one, you guys can see it was so easy to cut out. And I really love the scallop of this one. It's super duper easy. I did it with that glitter just to kind of spruce it up. Once you cut it, you have those score lines that I was talking about. You're just going to fold them. So I told you this was going to be the easiest and fastest craft. So we're fixing to be done with this. You're going to place your gift card inside. You're going to shut this one and tuck this little guy in and done and done. You have a cute little holder. Look at this thing. Hopefully you guys can see that good enough. It is so stinking cute. Now, if you wanted to, you could spruce it up, cut out some little elements there, maybe put Merry Christmas, personalize it with the kiddos' names. And like I said, I did glitter. You could do a pattern. We have tons of patterns here. You guys could print those out with your printer. I see all of those Santa Clauses coming in. All right, so here we go for the next one. And I'm going to explain why this is so important. All right. For the next one, this is for a chance to win one month of our plus gold membership. All right. So for this, you're going to use hashtag bats. So use hashtag bats in the comments below for a chance to win one month of your plus gold membership. Now, how this is going to be important for our next event. So you guys know that we host every month at the end of the month, we have our dollar event. This is our ultimate dollar event. This is like our Black Friday, if you will. So we hold, we host the ultimate dollar event of all time. I believe it runs for five days straight. And so for this, you guys are going to, we only, when we do this event, we only release like 500 copies of each, right? But if you are a plus member, you actually get access to that. And I want to say, they can correct me, but I want to say it could be the gold you actually get, but it could just be all plus, but you get extra, you actually get access to that. So even though there's only 500 copies, you actually do get access to still grab it, even though it's gone. And you're going to save 15% off of it. So the bundles that they're a dollar, you're going to get them for 85 cents. And this is going to be the ultimate event. Plus you're going to have extra time and all that. All right. So use that hashtag bats for a chance to win. I'm so excited for this one. All right. So here we go. Let's go ahead and move on to our next one. For the next one, let's go ahead and put together our card here. So we've got four layers. We have our card stock. I told you how cute is this? So it puts these lines for you. So it just folds so easy, right? And then it cut these pieces out. I am so excited about how it did that. So you're just going to go ahead and smooth those pieces. I just used my um squeegee here all right and then we have these layers right here so what i'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to get our first one which is just going to go right into here and i'm just going to use a tape runner for this one so we're just going to go ahead and go all the way around this you could use whatever favorite adhesive that you like i to make sure that i get all the way around this guy here in all the right places there we go Get this guy up here. We're going to line it right up here. All right. This has got to be my favorite Christmas card of all time. It's just gorgeous. Now, that is like a craft color. So we did a blue, like a navy blue craft. And then you could do whatever colors you want to. This one I did in the glitter. Once again, I told you I wanted to bring the glitter today. This is a brown glitter. I found these at Hobby Lobby. They're the individual sheets. Um, they're 40% off. I went to Hobby Lobby this morning. I told y'all I was already Christmas shopping. So I've got this brown here. 
and we're going to go ahead and start to line this guy up here. All right, so same thing. I'm going to go ahead and take my tape runner here. Now, if you guys have any questions, remember we are going to be doing Q and A. Um, we're going to do Q and A. So if you guys have any questions, make sure y'all put those in all caps. It just makes it easier for us to find. And we will try to answer what we can when we wrap this up. There we go. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and line this layer up here. Gorgeous. I love that brown glitter. It's so cute for that pine cone. So, so stinking cute. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the bow. So this is an HTV here. So we can actually add in. Um, we don't have to stick with, you know, we can actually layer on top of glitter. Now with this, I was almost thinking about using some foam dots to kind of pop that off, but I don't think I'm going to. And for this one, I'm going to attempt to use my tape runner, but if it doesn't stick well, I'll go back in with some adhesive. Let's just see what we got. So I just cut this out with a red here. Should I kind of line that up like that? And so gorgeous. You could make these Christmas cards and you can pop these out like butter. I mean, you could just make these over and over again. So, so easy. And you're looking at, especially because this right here, you could probably get four of these out of that 12 by 12 sheet. Um, same with that craft color. And then these were eight and a half by 11. So, I mean, you also could make an entire set of these. I just think this came out so gorgeous and you can do whatever color you want. So they had an example of like a teal, but I went with that blue and I just thought it looked so, so pretty. Now, I also want to point out today that we are going to be premiering, so make sure y'all hit that notification bell down below. Subscribe, because tomorrow, you guys have been asking about this Santa Claus. It will be premiering tomorrow, so please make sure y'all hit that notification, because y'all do not want to miss it. That guy is amazing and so much fun. So that video is finally coming. All right, so we've got our Christmas card here. So let's go ahead and keep on trucking. So I'm going to go ahead and bring us back down. So let's go ahead and do these money holders. So these ones right here, we're going to go ahead and put together. Look how cute these are. So these are one, two, three, four, five, technically with the nose. So these are going to be easy. So this is where I was talking about with those weld. We want to get those little hands, right? So I'm going to go ahead and pop those guys up. Look at those little, little paws there. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same with this one. And I think I need to pop. We're going to pop that circle back down. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that back down. Right. So we just need the two little hands. There we go. So I do this. So whenever I'm going to go ahead and glue this guy down and then this white one here will actually kind of slide in over those paws. All right. So here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and lay those flat so I can get some adhesive here. So these crafts are going to be so quick, so easy. These would be perfect to make with the kiddos. Now for this one right here, definitely make sure you don't add some to the hands there. Um, for this one right here, these would be great for stocking stuffers. This is a great gift to pass out to somebody at the office. Um, it's almost like a gift card, but cash. <laughs> All right. So then your first layer should look like this. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and go back in with our second one. Like I said, it's going to go over the hand. So I have to be real careful. So we're going to get our adhesive going here. And now all the supplies I'm using, I do have linked below. And what's really cool about this is you can use, you can even make these with your Cricut Joy, honestly. So you can use your older, uh, Cricut machines, you can definitely use your Cricut Joy, use your Silhouette, whatever die cutting machine that you have. All right, so there's our white layer. So you want to make sure your hands are sticking out, like I said. So you guys can see those there, right? So cute. And then we're going to add on his hat here and then his little nose. So you guys can see how cute that glitter came out. Gorgeous. It just gave it a little extra. You could definitely just keep it plain and simple if you want. All right. So now we're going to line this guy up right up here at the top. Scoot that over. There we have it. Perfect. Oh, that glitter is so cute. Now, here we go. So I've got a 20 and I've got a five here just to kind of show you. You could put a dollar in these things. So you can do a dollar, you can do a 20, you can do 10, you can do whatever you want to do. So we're going to roll this up really tight. All right. Just like that. And I'm going to try to keep this part of the opening towards the back. Kind of squish that and get it nice and round there. And then we're going to go ahead and tuck that guy inside. And there you have it. How cute is that? Adorable. Oh, I forgot his nose. Hold on. I totally lied. <laughs> Let me go back and add his nose. All right. So we're going to go back in here. 
Grab that nose and hopefully you guys can see that there. So stinking cute. So there's one. Let me go ahead and get that next one. All right. So y'all make sure you're using the hashtag bats because as soon as we're done with this one, we're going to go ahead and announce the next winner. So hashtag bats y'all for that chance to win that month of the uh, plus gold membership. So our ultimate dollar event is coming up. You guys do not want to miss it. Like I said, it is, I believe it lasts for five days. Um, and it's just, it's the biggest dollar event that we host. It's definitely like our black Friday. You guys do not want to miss it. And once again, you guys just get extra perks. If y'all are a plus member, you guys do get, um, access to those files that are limited because we only give 500 of each. So normally we're our dollar event. It just lasts that entire hour. With this, we only have 500 copies of each. Unless you guys are a plus member, you do get extra. Um, you get access to it. All right. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We've got our little hands out, circles down. We're going to get our red layer on here. Just like that. Yet. I had to show y'all too, because I couldn't make up my mind of which one I liked more. So I thought, you know what, we're going to show them both. All right, here we go. So y'all let me know to also, to also, y'all let me know down below so far, what is your favorite craft? And also let me know, are you guys big into paper crafts? You know, what is it? Do you guys scrapbook? Do you guys like to make stuff like this? Gift tags, cards, things like that. I want to know all of that information as well. All right, here we go. So cute. It's coming together. It's so easy to make. Here we go. And like I said, such a great gift. If you're like me, last minute, you need a last minute gift. You got a five in your wallet. You run to your Cricut, cut this guy out, and boom. Looks like you made it months ago. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and pop on that tree. I think that glitter just gives it everything. It would also be cute with a pattern as well. Oh, so cute. Okay, let me get his nose. I'm not going to forget his nose this time. All right. There we have it. And now we're going to go ahead and roll this. I think I may have, let me see if I can get it in there. Let me go ahead and get it one more time. Get a little bit tighter. Well, they're super cute. Thank you, D. Let's see. They're so stinking cute. That's right. So stinking cute. They are so stinking cute. I love paper crafting. I'll go ahead and bring you guys back up here as well. So that way you guys can see. I want to do these handmade cards. Oh my gosh, that pine cone card. Love it. But I think the glitter on these little guys just make it everything. So there you have it. So easy. You could also take a hole punch or you could put a circle on top inside of Cricut Design Space, slice it through. Or like I said, take a little hole punch and have these as ornaments hanging all over the Christmas tree. And that way it has the kiddos name, say grandkids, and then you can pass those out during Christmas as well. Those would be really, really cute. Another thing is, I don't really know, like say for example, if you went down and you bought a bond, like what are the, you know, the money bonds from the bank? I don't know if those come in paper and you could roll them up in here too, would be really cute as well. Um, but I really, really love the way that this craft came out. Just so, so cute. All right. So I think we said that we were going to, so if we have enough, um, if we have enough people ready to go for this next giveaway, we can go ahead and do it. So let's go ahead and see if I get it. Yep, we're ready. Here we go. So once again, this is for that one month plus gold membership. So let's go ahead and hit that draw button. Here we go. Good luck to everybody. And I'm so excited about it. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. What's it going to be? This is my favorite part. I love giving stuff away. Congratulations, C. Simone. Simone? I don't know. I don't want to butcher your last name. Congratulations. Thank you so much for watching us here on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out with us. Um, all you have to do is reach out to mail at designbundles.net. Let them know that you are the lucky winner of that month's plus gold membership, and they'll add it to your account right away. And with that plus month's with that entire month, make sure you guys definitely go check out all of the stuff that you have access to. You're going to get 50 plus credits. So on top of winning that one month, you get 50 plus credits added to your account. You're going to get 15% off of everything in on the site, marketplace, bundles. You can, this bundle I'm showing you today, 15% off. You are going to be able to get this bundle even cheaper. Um, so many perks, like I said, even to our ultimate dollar event. So congratulations. So if you guys are ready, here we go. If you guys are ready, this is our last giveaway and we're going to draw us at the very end. So make sure y'all stay tuned. We're going to give away this entire bundle that is worth almost $500. One lucky winner is going to get this bundle. So all you need to do is 
Maybe drop down some hearts down below. Drop down hearts. I can't give it away just yet. Drop those hearts down below. Let me know that you guys are excited or you're interested in grabbing this entire bundle for free today and a chance to win it. Let me know. Give me the hearts down below. If I can see enough love, we'll go ahead and do that now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's see here. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, I see those hearts rolling in. I just love y'all so much. I absolutely love crafting with you guys. Thank you guys for taking time out of your day to come craft with us, especially on Halloween. We're crafting Christmas because we're moving on. If you're like me and we're putting Christmas trees up tonight, raise your hand. I want to see the hands down below if you're putting your Christmas tree up tonight. All right, here we go. I see Amanda. Actually, Amanda Loon, if y'all ever seen that name come in, that's my sister. And it's so funny because since I've been doing this, she enters all the giveaways, which if she ever won, we would draw it again. But she has been trying since I started crafting back in 2016, 17. She's never won. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we are going to go ahead. All you have to do is use hashtag pumpkin. Hashtag pumpkin for a chance to win this entire bundle. Here we go. So while you guys are doing that, I'm going to drop it down. And we're going to keep on crafting. All right, so let's go ahead and work on our cute little tote bag here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my face to it first, and then we'll come over here and put our box together, okay? So you're going to get your box whenever you cut it out. Don't lose an eyelash there. When you get your box, hopefully you guys can see this. You guys are going to see those lines. I think you guys can see that. You're going to have all these dash lines here that cut for you. And so those are going to be so easy to go by and fold. And we can actually go by and fold those before... I glue. So we're just going to go by and fold each and every one of these. All right. But yeah. So my sister, Amanda, she has been a huge fan. She's been watching us since day one. And like I said, she has always put her name in because she just wants to see her name drawn, but her name does come across the screen sometimes. She gets so excited. So, um, but yeah, so huge shout out to my sister for always supporting and being there and hanging out. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead. I'm just bending these pieces in here. So everything should be pretty good. You're going to see how those are just going to kind of fold in. Oop, I've got a line. Just like this. All right, so all of our pieces in just a minute will fold together and we'll have our cute little bag, right? So we're going to go ahead and try to make sure because these pieces will actually go down like that. All right, so our top piece will be like this. But what I want to do is put together... I want to put together my face first, just to make it easy while it's flat. Okay, so we're going to have our llama face first. And you can see where things are going to line up. You can just see right where those pieces are going to line up here. So let's go ahead and take that tape. And y'all can see how easy these are with this tape runner. All right. Once again, if y'all have any questions, make sure you guys put those in all caps down below. We will be doing Q&A here in just a bit. So we have this craft and then we have one more. We're just going to simply put together that uh, flower. I'm not going to say it because I, I cannot say Ponceta. Ponceta? I still don't even know if I'm saying that right. Y'all have probably already corrected me down below. Okay, so we're going to put our ear pieces in here like so. All right. There we go. And the funny thing about my sister always entering our giveaways is she don't even craft. <laughs> she doesn't even craft. I gave her, um, she actually has a Cricut maker and she doesn't craft. She still calls me and says, hey, can you make this? <laughs> All right, here we go. So we've got that. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and get, I'm trying to decide. if I want to go ahead and get his hat down first. I'm trying to figure out exactly where this is going to go. Just lining up those pieces. I think I'm going to go ahead and get his hat down first, and then I'll come back. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think, because I just don't want to get his eyes too high. I think I'm going to. We're going to do it. So I'm actually going to, y'all can't see over here, but I'm actually going to pull back up his face just so I can visually see. Sometimes it's easier for me just to pull up the picture. All right, so here we go. So we're going to go ahead and get his hat on here. Once again, I did that with some red glitter just to spruce it up and get, make it a little extra. All right. And I think it's going to kind of go something about like that. Looks good to me. And then this little ball is just going to go right down here. You could definitely use some little 3D foams if y'all want to. To kind of spruce that up, have it, and then our little hat piece is going to come right up here. 
kind of double check myself here. I think it's just going to come like right about in here. I'm trying to make sure I'm not coming down too, too far. And get that guy there. All right, there we have that. And then I'm going to go ahead and get his, I'm going to go ahead and get the eyes in and then I'll get the nose. Now for the eyes, they're so teensy, teensy, tiny. I'm going to come in with that Tombow glue and then just add just a tiny bit to the backside. Now, when I cut these eyes out, which I cut out the exact same time, I just put all my black pieces together. So these two use, see how tiny those are? Use the uh, cardstock intricate settings. It will cut like a dream. You're not going to lose anything. Nothing's going to get gummed up or junky. So anytime y'all have tiny pieces like this, just put those cardstock settings on intricate cut settings. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pop this guy down. Now, if you guys are just now tuning in, I have announced that we will be having our, that huge Santa Claus that I have behind me that we made, it will be premiering tomorrow. So make sure y'all guys hit that notification bell so y'all do not miss a thing. We're going to go ahead and get his nose. I'm going to go ahead and move back over to the tape runner for a sec. Get his little nose area there. And then his mouth. I mean, look at this piece. I'm about to show y'all. Look at this mouth. Look at how tiny and intricate this is. Hopefully I can do that. Look at that. Intricate cut settings. Normally this stuff would get crazy. Intricate cut settings is all you need to do. And I'm just going to get the most minute amount of glue on the back so I don't make a mess. If I can, there we go. Perfect. All right, there we have it. And then we're going to go ahead and get our cute little nose that looks like a heart. And I'm just going to get some glue down there just to kind of help out. There we have it. I think we got all of our pieces. Look at how cute he is. Oh my gosh. Now this one comes with three different designs. And once again, it's, you could create, it's six things. You could create three different cards or shadow boxes, or you could create three different, because I think it's shadow boxes, but you could do cards if you wanted to. You could do three different gift bags. So there's an owl, there is a giraffe, and this llama, look at this, so cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our pieces. So it's going to be as easy as getting these pieces in here. So we're going to go ahead and get our tape runner here. All right. Put that down there. Making sure we're going in there. Perfect. Same thing. I'm going to get my little tape runner here. All right. Now, what are you guys hoping to see at this year's Ultimate Dollar event? Did you guys shop the Ultimate Dollar event last year? You know, are you looking for, you know, Cricut SVGs and all that stuff? Are you guys going to be looking for, you know, some sublimation stuff? Let me know what you're looking for. So now to tie this up, we're going to go ahead and go here. These would be cute to throw in some like Hershey Kisses, some little candy bars. These would be perfect for a classroom to pass out to the kiddos. Or if you guys were like with the church or just anything, these would even just, I was fixing to say trick-or-treaters. Y'all don't judge me <laughs> for the stockings and things like that. Oh my gosh. Even once again, for the office, I'm trying to get that corner up there just a bit. All right. We're going to go ahead. You could take, what I like to usually do for the inside there is take your, usually I, it's called a bone folder. There's like a longer little, I just don't have one down here. Take your, um, little squeegee there, get those ran down. Now you're gonna see that these are sides bend in, okay? Just like that. And this little guy's gonna come down. How precious is this? So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna take a foam circle here. That one didn't work. I'm gonna go back for another. And we're gonna go ahead and put, oops, I made my bottom pop off. All right, here we go. How cute. Oh my gosh, this has got to be my favorite now. I don't know. It's a toss up. It's a toss up. The box is so stinking cute. Bring you guys back up here. Look at this thing. And you guys can see it holds quite a bit. So you could put quite a bit of candies in here, throw a gift card. This would also be cute for a gift card. So if you're looking for another little gift card holder idea, I don't think I've hold this one like this. Um, this would hold gift cards, a little bit of cash. You guys could do your candies inside all those things. Once again, you could tie a string, hang these from the Christmas tree, pass them out in the classroom, all sorts of fun things. But I love the way this one came out. It is so stinking <laughs> cute. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right. And I think y'all might be able to see this one. 
a little better too. You guys can see all those pieces there. So cute. All right. I'll bring these back up just to give you all a little better look of each one. And then we're going to do our last craft. I love them. The llama. Oh, thank you so much, Lindsay. All right. Last one's here. And I'll switch us over to our last craft. And then we're going to do Q&A. There we go. Look at this one. Show stinking cute. And then this one. See, do you see why I couldn't decide on these two here? They're just both so cute. All right, so let's go ahead and put together our last one. And then we'll be getting ready for that giveaway. All right, for this one, it's just a simple poncetta that I can't say. Um, you've got four pieces here for your flower. I cut mine all out the same color. I got a couple different pieces of green here. So for this... We are going to, now I'm going to spruce mine up a little bit. So I wanted to do that. So to do that, once again, you could use a bone folder or something. I'm going to create some lines. You could also take your squeegee here and kind of get some, if you're wanting some bends and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get a little bit of folds just to make it a little bit more realistic. All right. There's that. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing to this side. See, I tell you, this squeegee just, it's its everything. I mean, you can use it for all sorts of different things. I'm going to go ahead and roll those ones back. Roll these ones up. Roll these ones up. All right. Pop that in there. Just making it a little bit more realistic. There we go. Put that down. We have that and then we're just going to layer these so i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to quickly go through and start to curl these so while i'm curling these we can go ahead and get ready so while i'm curling these let's go ahead and get ready for q a <music> All right, so I'm just simply curling. So we'll just do some questions while we are doing that. All of these work with silhouette. Yes, all of these files work with silhouette as well. Let's see here. What else do we have? What glue are you using besides the um, the, the hot glue? So I'm using Tombow. Both of these are Tombow. Tombow. I've been using them for years. They have been very reliable. I love them. Little uh, Now these ones, I just recently tried the mini ones, but I normally have the regular size. So Tombow and then Tombow. I do have these linked down below and I love it. Like this guy right here has a small tip, but it also has a big one too, to cover big areas as well. I literally never use, I forget about the other side. <laughs> All right. What else do we have? All right, let's see here. What are you using for your computer mouse? This is actually from Apple. This is called the trackpad. So this just kind of helps you kind of zoom in and stuff like that. And so I got it just to kind of help there. But yes, it's the Apple trackpad. And I think you can get it in silver or black. Let's see here. What else do we got? What weight cardstock? These are 65 pounds. That's what I really like. I like the Nina cardstock over anything. I'm going to tell you what. OK, I bought the Hobby Lobby paper craft paper paper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this morning I bought a big bundle of it. It was twenty four dollars, but it was 40 percent. I needed some more cardstock here. I didn't use a thing of it. It is not good. I didn't like it. Honest opinion. Um, I do like Michael's. I do like their brand. But Nina, honestly, has become one of my favorites. You can grab it on Amazon, Target. Um, you can get bundles of it. Even I think you can go to Walmart and grab Nina cardstock, honestly. 65 pounds though. Let's see here. Where do you get your squeegee from? This one right here is from 143, but you can also find them on Amazon as well. And they're like a dollar or something, two dollars. All right. Let's see. Is that setting on the maker? Yes. So whenever you go to, um, I'm actually going to show y'all. Let me pull it up really quick. So let's bring back up that Cricut Design Space. All right. So what I want to do is let's go back to uploads and let's bring in this guy like we were putting it back out again. All right. Add to canvas. Once again, this guy's already sized out for you. It's ready to go. All right. So whenever you go to make it, I'm going to tell it on the mat, which because obviously I'm using Explore 3, but you wouldn't have that if so. So we're going to go ahead and hit. So let's say the black layer right here. So you see the little eyelashes. I'm going to hit continue. 
And like I said, it does show it for the maker as well, as well as the jewelry and all of those. You should even see it for your older Explorer models as well. Because you know, if you have the Cricut Explorer 2, you can turn your dial to the custom settings. And that's how you're going to get this to pull up on your computer. So you're going to go to browse all material. And I'm just going to type in enter and then oh, there we go. So you see where it says cardstock for intricate cuts. Amazing. I even now the reason why I don't do it for absolutely everything is it will go over this stuff twice. Um, so it's just a little bit more time consuming. So unless it's something intricate like that, it just works like a dream. And I've tried it on glitter and everything. So I highly recommend y'all check out that setting cardstock for intricate cuts. Um, so we can go ahead and drop that back down. So like I said, even if you have the older Cricut Explorer models, um, just turn that dial to custom settings and you're going to get those to pop up for you. Let's see. I think we're on our last one here. Uh, would, uh, let's see, would please give details on the big event again. My apologies for being a little, hey, we haven't really talked about it much, so I am more than happy to. So our ultimate, so instead of our regular dollar event for this next month for November, it is going to be our ultimate dollar event, which is like Black Friday for us. So this is our Black Friday event, technically, and it is five days long, I believe. And so we have 500 copies of each. So instead of it normally running an hour, it's going to run for five days. I do believe the cells change each day, different stuff. But if you're a Plus member, you do get those. Even though they're sold out, the 500 copies, you still have access uh, no matter what. So there is that. Um, and like I said, you're going to grab huge, huge bundles. It's going to be our ultimate event like like I said, and you guys just do not want to miss a thing. And we'll be talking about it more and more in the upcoming videos. All right, so I'm going to drop y'all down below. Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and you see how I've just kind of layered those. So I'm going to go through here, take my runner. I'm just getting the middles. I've already got them where I want. So I'm just taking that tape runner and hitting those each in the center. And that's it. And those are ready. So I could kind of spruce this guy up, whether I kind of want these to be a little bit more up or down. Because I could even do two if I wanted to for a couple of these. I'm all looking for my squeegee everywhere. Um, I could go through here and curl a couple of these just to make it look a little bit more realistic, which I'll do quickly because it won't take me no time at all, I promise. So y'all, we are about to be getting ready for that giveaway. So y'all do not want to miss a thing. So don't leave me just yet. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just do this. You can do a couple at a time. It is so, so easy to do these. Let me get this one. Now, there is things. I can't think of what it's called. There's a little ball, and you can kind of do stuff, like, especially for our center. Uh-oh. Crystal lost the center. Anybody see it? Somebody tell me where it's located on the table. I may have dropped it in the floor. I actually have a yellow center. Did y'all see where it went? Somebody tell me. Y'all usually help me fix that stuff. And then we can kind of spruce these a little here and there. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy down. And in the meantime, I'm, I'm going to wait for y'all to tell me where the heck that thing went. Because y'all are usually pretty good about telling me that. Look at that. So cute. All right. Let me dig on my table for just two seconds. I'm going to bring y'all back up here. <laughs> so y'all can see. This is everyday life. Anybody else, you're crafting along. And then boom, it's gone. Found it. Found it. It was blending in with the, with the pine cone card. All right, we've got it. Here we go. You guys have been pretty good in the past. You guys will see once I sling it. So there is actually like a, it has a round circle on it. And you would go like this. And it really will swirl this guy up, right? So I'm just going to kind of bend it. And we're going to pop it in there. Once again, I used the glitter cardstock. This was like a champagne. And we're just going to pop it down there in the center. So if you guys want to learn more about that ultimate dollar event, make sure you guys hit that notification bell down below. You guys subscribe. Make sure you guys are following us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, because that's where we're going to be announcing a lot of those things. You're going to see those in the days and weeks leading up. Um, and then you're going to hear us talking about it during our lives as well as pre-recorded videos. So once again, like I said, make sure you guys definitely check our stuff out. So there we go. So cute. So this would be perfect to add on to a wreath maybe that you're making. Um, these would also be pretty too. I brought the size down on this one. So you can actually make it quite large. Um, you can actually put these on your play settings. So maybe all the way around the table, these will set in the middle of the table um, or the plate, if you will. I think they're just super, super cute. So I love the way that, that one came out as well. All right, let's see. This is so cute. And you do say it right. Oh, yay. Okay, good. 
because I was like, I don't even know how I'm saying this. <laughs> All right. So I think we are ready. Do we have any more questions? So it is the event is November 25th through the 30th, by the way, guys. So I just got that. So we are they're working hard on it. Our team is really trying to bring you guys the best value and the best designs and everything for this event. So um, we are all learning at the same time and we're getting that information. So it is November 25th through the 30th. Y'all don't want to miss that ultimate event. Mark your calendars. All right. So let's go ahead and get ready for the giveaway. All right. So here we go. Good luck to everybody. This is going to be for this entire um, bundle, which is almost $500. So one lucky winner is going to get the entire thing. Let's go ahead and hit that draw. Here we go. Good luck to everybody. Once again, thank you guys all for hanging out with us here. Happy Halloween. Y'all stay safe tonight and enjoy your Halloween. Here we go. Congratulations, Angie Wolf. Congratulations. Thank you so much for watching us here on YouTube. We are so excited for you. I hope you create the most amazing paper graphs. All you need to do is reach out to mail at designbundles.net. Let them know that you are the lucky winner of the paper craft bundle and they'll add it to your account as soon as possible. Now, Angie, make sure you are following us over on our Facebook community group. If you recreate anything using that bundle, make sure you you guys make sure you share it with us so we can check it out we love seeing you guys's projects so if y'all aren't already following us on our facebook community group make sure you guys definitely check it out also make sure you guys are following us on tiktok we're doing some fun stuff over there okay tiktok instagram all of the things so let's go ahead and recap and we're going to get out of here we've made our cute little box here we've made our cute little poncetta we've got our money tags here and then we've got our Christmas card and then we've got our card holder. Make sure before you guys leave as well, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And if you guys have enjoyed this, hit that like button down below and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.